Stanford football enters the 2014 season with high expectations as the Cardinal begins its quest to defend its Pac-12 title for the third straight year. Today, the Cardinal and White Spring game shows that the farm continues to develop elite talent. Shaw's program faces change in his fourth season. The O-line loses four starters, Tyler Gaffney is NFL bound, while the defense is without All-American linebackers Shane Scove and Trent Murphy. Last but not least, new defensive coordinator Lance Anderson replaces Derek Mason, now Vanderbilt's head coach. Uh, you know, it went pretty much like spring had gone, which is, you know, when we start up and defensively, we are so good up front. And a lot's going to be said about the guys that we're leaving, including Derek Mason. And, you know, but we have a veteran group up front that's really, really tough to run the ball against, really tough to pass protect. Um, we think we're going to have a good offensive line, but it's hard to show that with the guys that we have up front. So, um, but then we see enough battling back by the offense and coming back, and that's the way spring is gone. You know, offense couldn't move the ball early in spring, had a chance to make some plays. Well, today bared out just like that. And then without the last two fumbles, snaps. You know, it's a one-score game uh, with the chance to, uh, for the offense to come back and tie it or win it. The party in the backfield shouldn't stop anytime soon. Fifth-year senior and third-year starter Henry Anderson will be a force at defensive end. I think we're, we're pretty close to where we wanted to be. Uh, we'd love to be a little bit more uh, just better on the offensive line as far as assignment and getting things done. But it's the flip side of having a great defensive line. You know, David Perry is going gonna, is gonna to make any mistake look worse than it should be. Um, Henry Anderson, you know, just tough guys to block. Azisha too, probably the player of spring for us, just phenomenal. Um, those three guys are just tough to block. And when you have two really, really experienced guys on the offensive line and three with, with a little bit of experience, but that's five guys, you know, those older guys, are gonna, they're going to exploit some inexperience. Most importantly, how will Kevin Hogan evolve in his third season as a starting signal caller? I feel much more comfortable. I feel like I'm really mastering the offense and, and seeing all the def uh, defenses and, and things that they present to us. And uh, you know, I feel very comfortable and I can't wait to just even master it even more and, and get onto the other side of the ball and figure out what defenses are doing. With 11 new starters and a tough schedule that includes road trips to Arizona State, Oregon, UCLA and Washington, Coach Shaw isn't phased. Since taking over for Jim Harbaugh, Shaw is 34-7 overall, 23-4 in the Pac-12. I don't demand anything from the team as far as the way that we're going to be. All I do is push them and try to see how hard we'll work, and then we become the team that we're going to become. So it's going to be interesting in training camp to see that start to truly develop with the incoming freshmen coming in. We'll see where these guys are after a long training session and come back, and we'll see where we are in training camp and see what kind of a team we will be. <laughs> From Stanford, Justin Lum, GetSportsFocus.com.